www.1manismustang.com Very difficult to actually try and show what's going on with the POR but this is just still the first coat and this is being done with uh, obviously my phone camera on here but gives you enough idea of one coat what it actually comes out like uh, although this bit here doesn't actually look like it's been coated it actually is but this is what happens uh, when you put the first coat on and sometimes you haven't treated it properly or it just doesn't take very well at that particular point I've seen this before but the second coat will actually cure that and obviously I'll put the, the next part of that to this video so you should be able to see it once it's um, been completed not there again it's a little little part that you have to check on and here's the right hand side not too bad at all Okay, so here's the next step of the process where you've got to get your 300 grit paper and you're going to be sanding down what you've already got and this is just to sort of like show you how tough this stuff is. Actually nothing that is quite hard and it's not moving. Okay, so that's what we got. And that's what happens when you rub 300 grit on POR. Yeah, it's a little bit softer, it's removed some of the high spots, if that's what you can call them, but virtually no difference to it at all, apart from a very, very faint key to the surface. Okay, so this is the second coat gone on of the POR. It's very glossy, very difficult to see, um, but you can see that bit that I was showing earlier previously in the video. It's actually now gone. It's gone right into the seals there. A bit welding. It's very difficult to actually see, but it's come out. It doesn't actually come out of black, black. It comes out more of a sort of greyish black, but it's not too bad at all. Deliberately didn't paint around the shifter, just in case I needed to get that off. But I will paint the top of the shifter as a separate item once I actually get round to that. It's a good job. Um, just saying that I left uh, some POR 15 on the uh, bottom of the car yesterday on the floor pan uh, but this is what I left in the pot so just thought it would be interesting to show you but it's 
quite strong gear as you can see so and that's with no edge no nothing been put in there that's just straight on the plastic so in your no idea of what this stuff's like it does dry rock hard so look at the brush this is one inch it's not the most expensive brush in the world but there again I throw them away so it's no real hardship to me as you can see the bristles on that are uh, very stiff to say the least so that's a look uh, there you go <laughs> that's um, very solid 